Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I was thinking about doing a third online robot game competition, like the second one we just finished on Monday. But I want to go a different direction, and I think this might actually be more interesting and fun for some of you. So here's basically today what I want to do. I want to introduce to you the Hino Robotics World Record. Basically, I, when I was a kid, I always wanted to break a world record. I always wanted to say, yeah, I'm the best in the world at something. So what I thought I would do is combine both worlds of robotics and a world record. Now, it wouldn't be an official world record, but it would be a Hino Robotics world record. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, stay with me. So today, it's going to seem like it's an online robot game competition, but it's not going to be an ongoing competition where, you know, there's a first, second, third place. It's going to basically be a competition of who can attain the world, well, the Hino Robotics record. So basically today what I'm going to do is give you two challenges, and it's going to seem similar to what um, some of you that participated in the online robot game challenge is when you think you have beat the record, you're gonna video record it and then send it to me so I can basically now display to the world that you have the record until it gets beat, if it gets beat. So today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the two challenges I have and then I'm just gonna be waiting for the videos to pour in and have people claim that they're the best in the world until it gets beat or maybe until it doesn't get beat. And the cool thing is, I want to basically have this be what I do every month. Basically just say, hey, nobody's beat this record yet, so this person still has the record. And then if it does get beat the next month, I'll just display the new record for whatever the attempt is. So today, that's what I want to do. So are you guys ready? Are you excited? So let's go ahead and go to the first challenge. Are you ready? Set. Go. Okay, this first challenge is called the Limbo. So if you guys know Limbo, you know when they have parties and you try to go underneath the bar, it's gonna now be the same thing with your robot. So here's all you need. You just need a sheet of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And let me go ahead and show you how you're gonna build your Limbo bar here. So there's two picture frames. I have the gray llama piece, which goes into the frame and it will go into this 15 hole beam. And I basically have two 15 hole beams connected going across. So the rule is you cannot have your limbo bar be wider than this. So you can see here I connected them with two um, connectors and you cannot make your limbo bar wider than that. It needs to be the same size as mine. Now here is the challenge. The challenge is for you to have your robot, and I don't care how you have the piece of paper. If you want to have it this way, fine. If you want to have it this way, fine. But your robot must, I repeat, must fit on this piece of paper, which means if you go overlooking the, the robot like this, none of it can be hanging off. Obviously, with this one, you're probably not going to want it bigger than this piece of paper anyway. So the goal is, is for your robot to go under the bar and not touch the bar. So as your robot goes underneath, it can't touch the white beams. And to make sure that your robot can actually function and turn, your robot either to the right or to the left, it must travel under the bar and around and must, and must touch base. I don't care if it's a wheel, a ball bearing, some part of your robot needs to touch base in order for you to claim that you have the world record. Now, for those of you that would say, hey, Mr. You know, this is too high, then drop yours. You can always drop these bars and the record's going to be how many holes down can you make the bars go. Now, when you're video recording your robot, I want you to, before you make your attempt, I want you to show us how far down the bar actually goes. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you can beat this, 
but we're trying to get your robot to see if it can go even farther underneath that bar. So if this is too high, keep dropping it until you just can't do it. Okay, now let's go to the regulations or rules for your robot. Okay, so your robot obviously must have a brick. Um, you do not need to have large motors. If you can figure out a way with medium motors, that's fine, but it doesn't need to be large. So I'm just throwing that out. And like I said, again, your robot has to be able to turn in order to go underneath and back to base. So that's it. Whatever else you want to do with your robot is up to you. Remembering again, it has to fit on this piece of paper. Remembering that this cannot be wider than it is right there. And just make sure you don't touch the bar. If you're touching the bar, that means the bar is too low for you and you'll have to raise it in order to get your record. So there is challenge number one is called the limbo. And if you have any questions about the challenge, throw them down in the comment section and I'll answer each one. Let's go to challenge number two. Okay, before we get to the challenge number two, I forgot to say it, that the limbo bar needs to be tw at least 12 inches away from your base. And it's gonna be the same thing for challenge two. So challenge two is gonna be called the tall robot. And again, you can make your paper sideways this way. I don't care. So here is going to be this Hino Robotics world record. The record here is going to be the tallest robot that can go from base. And again, your robot must be able to fit inside the base to go around. And this is just what I took off the limbo bar. So I don't care where you put that, but it has to go. It has to be 12 inches away from base, at least. Your robot must go around it and come back still fully intact. None of your robot can fall down, fall off. And you're basically trying to get the tallest robot that can make it around that and back to base. So here's what I want. When you are successful, I want you to be able to either have a yardstick or a ruler or something to show us or show me how tall it really is so we can verify the height. I don't want you to just tell us, yeah, it's 15 inches high, take my word for it. Actually have a ruler or a yardstick basically giving us a level look at it so we can see that it is really that high. So there is challenge number two. It's called the tall robot. How tall can you make your robot to go around this and back to base? and have the Hino Robotics world record. So there you go, guys. There's your two challenges. Okay, guys, so there's the two challenges, Limbo and the Tall Robot. And here's what's cool about it is if you get the world record, I'm gonna do a video every month, once a month, basically showcasing the, all the world records. I don't plan on stopping with two. I plan to have more world records. I need to stop saying world records because you think you're gonna get some kind of Guinness book you know, certificate or plaque or something, you're going to be getting a Hino Robotics World Record Certificate. Basically saying that you have the record for the Hino Robotics Limbo and Robot or Tall Robot for this video, and then there'll be more coming after. And then what you'll do is cross your fingers and hope month to month that somebody does not break your record. Because this is going to be an ongoing thing where every month I'm going to say, well, the same person has the record since three months ago. Nobody's beat it until, you know, someday somebody does beat it. So if you get a world record, sorry, a Hino Robotics world record, you'll just sit back and say, yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the world record holder until somebody beats it. So again, here's what you'll do. Once you feel like you have, you know, the robot that can go underneath the lowest bar, or the tallest robot that can go from base back around this back to base, you'll video record it. Try to try to get it down to just, you know, the video of the part that we need to see and send it 
to hinolegorobotics at gmail.com. And basically what I will do is, I think I'll set a date. I think I will say every first of the month. And if it lands on a weekend, we'll just say the whatever weekday is closer to the first of the month that I will reveal who the winners are for this world record or Hino Robotics world record. So basically, if today is June 23rd, you guys don't have very much time unless you're only going to do one or the other try to challenge um, to get that video in because on July 1st, I'm not sure if that's a weekday or not. But anyway, I'm going to basically reveal who has the Hino Robotics record um, when I when those videos come in, okay? Um, again, if you have any questions, throw them down in the comment section. I'll answer each one. So good luck, you guys, on trying to be the world record holder for Hino Robotics of either Limbo or the Tall Robot, okay? I think this is going to be fun. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.